This NBA season has been a rocky one to say the least, but there's been many special and memorable moments that have occurred in 2021, from historical blowouts to personal achievements. This 2020-2021 NBA season has been one to remember, and with the season ending today, let's take a look at 15 NBA records that were broken this year. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Starting out with number 15, Zion Williamson becomes the fastest player since Michael Jordan to reach 2,000 points. We all know how dominant Zion Williamson is and how great of an NBA player he can be. And it only took him 79 games to eclipse 2,000 points, the fewest amount of games to reach 2,000 points since Michael Jordan reached it in 1985, 36 years ago. If Zion keeps up this pace, then he might be on track to be one of the most dominant scorers in the NBA. Speaking of scoring, that leads into our next record, Kevin Porter Jr. of the Houston Rockets becoming the youngest player to record at least 50 points and at least 10 assists. At only 20 years old, Kevin Porter Jr., who has spent time this season in the G League, recorded 50 points and 11 assists in a win over the Milwaukee Bucks back in April. He surpassed LeBron James, who previously held the record at 23 years old. KPJ looks like a bright spot for a rebuilding Houston Rockets organization, and this historic performance brings hope that the Rockets have a future talent. Leading into young future talent, you have Anthony Edwards, who became the first teenager to score 100 plus points in three games. This year's number one overall pick has been fun to watch, especially in post-game interviews. But within three games back in the middle of March, Edwards put up 34, 29, and 42 points, 105 points in total. The first time the NBA has ever seen a teenager produce a scoring outburst like that. If he keeps this up, then the future is most certainly bright for him and the Timberwolves. And to wrap up some of the impressive feats by the NBA's young stars, we have LaMelo Ball, who became the youngest player to record a triple-double. LaMelo's rookie season has been nothing short of impressive, and it shows why he's the favorite to win Rookie of the Year. And within his 10th NBA game, LaMelo recorded a 22-point, 12-rebound, 11-assist triple-double, becoming the youngest player to ever record a triple-double at 19 years and 140 days old. From what we've seen from LaMelo this season, we can assume he has more in store for us in the years to come. And we can't talk about triple-doubles without talking about Russell Westbrook, who became the king of triple-doubles breaking Oscar Robertson's record for all-time triple-doubles with 182. Westbrook has averaged a triple-double four times in his career, including this season, and he's been putting up phenomenal numbers, proving that he's one of the most athletic talents we've ever seen in the game of basketball. I even uploaded a video about Westbrook earlier this season that you should check out. Westbrook's amazing personal feats have helped the Wizards to play postseason basketball, and we'll see how far they'll go. Let's take a look at some of the team accomplishments this year because some have been impressive, and a few have been embarrassing. Number 10, the Oklahoma City Thunder recorded the largest home loss in NBA history. Yeah, OKC hasn't had a great year, like, at all. Dealing with injuries to their main guys, trying to rebuild, and on May 2nd, the Indiana Pacers beat OKC 152-95, to a 57-point loss that is the largest margin of defeat by a home team in the NBA, beating the previous mark of 56 points. At one point, the Pacers were even up by 67 points and had a few starters not even playing that entire game, which sours this defeat a little bit more. But at least OKC has a treasure chest of draft picks to fix their situation, right? Speaking of 50-point losses, you have the Los Angeles Clippers who were down by 50 points at halftime to the Dallas Mavericks earlier this season. In only the third game of the season, the Mavs went on a scoring rampage against the Clippers who were without their best player Kawhi Leonard and led them by 50 points in the first half. 77 to 27, the largest halftime deficit since the shot clock era. This was a one-sided game, and luckily, the Clippers were able to bounce back and still show that they're a competitive team this season, but that night just was not the case. The next few records all circle around the three-point shot, and this season the league has made a lot of history concerning long-range shooting. The NBA set the record for most three-pointers made per game. Teams in 2021 averaged 12.7 threes, beating the previous record in 2020 with 12.2 threes. This record has been broken for the ninth consecutive year. Then you have to look at the Utah Jazz, who averaged the most threes made this year. With 16.7 threes made a game, the Utah Jazz have broken a previous record of 16.1 held by the 2019 Houston Rockets. Utah is one of the best three-point shooting teams in the league, and you could say in history, and it's been a key component to their success this year. But will it keep up in the playoffs? We'll see. The Milwaukee Bucks recorded the most threes in one game. Knocking down 29 threes in their home opener, the Bucks became the only team with the most threes in one game, 
every single player that played minutes in that game made a three-point shot, except Giannis. Right behind the Bucks are also the 2021 Rockets and the 2021 Jazz, who made 28 threes this season, who are second in NBA history. And lastly, Steph Curry will break the record for the most threes per game with 5.3, breaking his record that he set back in 2019, which was 5.13. Also breaking his record in 2016, which was 5.09. This guy's really good at shooting. And one more record that Steph Curry broke, with his great shooting, Steph Curry became the Golden State Warriors all-time leader in points. Passing Will Chamberlain, Curry recorded his 17,784 point, becoming the greatest warrior of all time. That's another impressive accomplishment to add to his resume. And of course we have to mention, at number 3, Carmelo Anthony moving into the top 10 in all-time scoring in the NBA. Over 27,000 points is not something to overlook, and Melo is one of the best to lace him up. I recently posted a video about Melo, and I urge you to go check it out. Number 2. The Brooklyn Nets have the highest scoring trio in NBA history. Kyrie Irving, James Harden, Kevin Durant are on pace to average 78.8 points per game as a trio this season. This trio is by far the greatest collection of scorers to be on the same team. Though they've only played 8 games together as a whole, each one of these guys are all-time greats and can score in bunches. We'll see in the playoffs if this high offensive production can be slowed down. And finally, in this season, the league has broken a record for lowest turnovers in a season, highest three-point percentage, highest free throw percentage, highest offensive rating in a season, and has the lowest average age in the league. The game is getting better while players are performing better at a young age. This is a good sign for the NBA and NBA fans, because we love to see high-level talent, and it seems like the NBA is producing that. What was your favorite record broken this year? Let me know in the comments section if I forgot an NBA record broken this season as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe then you'll want to stay up to date with all my uploads by smashing that post notification bell. Until next time, stay on beat.